Hi everyone. I'm Kishan Agrawal, Group Vice President of Technology and Infrastructure in Oracle Application Labs. Today, I'm going to share three important stories with you. First, how we at Oracle run our mission critical business systems on our Oracle Autonomous Database. Next, how we ensure security and compliance with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI. And finally, how we have reimagined our global corporate data warehouse on OCI. These are three big stories, but they all have something big in common. And that's how we here at Oracle are using our own technology to drive efficiency and security, simplify and modernize our operations, and in fact, future-proof our business. We call this philosophy and practice Oracle at Oracle. Let me start with our first use of Oracle Autonomous Database. We benefit deeply from its self-driving capabilities, such as self-patching and self-tuning. In fact, Autonomous Database eliminates day-to-day -day operational work for IT. We run our mission-critical applications on Autonomous Database with zero system administration and through the elimination of human intervention and human error, we are enjoying deep benefits. We have achieved at least 2x performance improvement and 40% cost savings to date. We have reduced system deployment time from months to minutes, and we have redeployed 35% of our resources from operations work to new initiatives. Now, let me talk a little about how OCI is ensuring security and compliance for us. Here at Oracle, we follow a zero trust security model and OCI has been built from the ground up based on this principle. Here is how. It has fundamentally secured architecture such as isolated network virtualization. Additionally, OCI offers many services such as Cloud Guard, Identity and Access Management, and Web Application Firewall to manage and securely run workload. And as Oracle, like many of our customers, is operating in a coexistence model, OCI offers capabilities to federate with our on-prem security components and integrate with our audit process and access provisioning system. OCI has also reduced compliance overhead and improved our audit process across IT, from certification to audit to overall governance. Finally, for my third use case, let me touch on how we have reimagined our global corporate data warehouse in Oracle Cloud. Our legacy system supported our central warehouse as well as more than 30 other business owned data marts. Data freshness, data duplication, and inconsistent reporting were all issues. We moved to our cloud data platform on OCI not just to address these challenges, but to build for the future. We followed four key principles in architecting this platform. They were adopting modern, highly available data as a service concept, deploying changes using continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline, building using microservices architecture so that we should be able to deploy a change to one part of the platform without impacting everything else and migrating in phases instead of in a big bank to reduce risk and impact to the business. Our OCI data lake architecture includes Oracle's autonomous data warehouse 
an OCI object store service. We use OCI data flow, streaming service, and big data services for data ingestion, transformation, and query. The platform ingests data from both on-prem systems and cloud sources using various data integration products. Today, our new corporate data lake already has a very large footprint, running both corporate reporting and lines of business data models. It supports 5 million report executions monthly used by thousands of daily users. It runs almost a billion queries a day and processes 100 billion rows. Soon, all the remaining content from the legacy warehouses and other business-owned siloed data warehouses will move to this new platform. We are excited about our present and our future here at Oracle with these powerful capabilities in place. I look forward to sharing more of our journey to cloud with you soon. Thank you.